Edit a sound file for the Orbell. Okay, this opens the full length sound file. As you can see, it's stereo. The Orbell has only one speaker. We want to reduce it to mono. To do this, we need to reset uh, the output levels. We want the new peak ampli amplitude to be minus 6 dB, which typically cuts it in half. You can see that about did it. Now we want to go to here and select split stereo to mono. Now we want to take this and export it as an MP3. Under options, you select what qualities you want as far as the bit rate. Here we have 320, which is the max. You want to give it a name that is different than the original so that you don't overwrite the original. All right. Now we're going to open up the new file. We have achieved what we wanted. First thing you need to do is select a portion of the sound file that you want. You can either do it from the beginning, from the end, or somewhere in the middle. I'm going to do it somewhere in the middle. You can see down at the bottom, down here, you have selection start, the length. And that gives you an idea of how long the selection is that you're grabbing. We're going to go, uh, let's say, 20 seconds or thereabouts. Now to want to trim this, go to Trim Audio in the toolbar. Now we want to see it spread out, so we go Fit Selection. The first thing we want to do is do a fade in. Typically, a fade-in can be uh, anywhere from a half a second to a second. So we're grabbing approximately a second here to do the fade-in. A lot depends on the sound file and your preferences. Now we want to do a fade-out. And what we want to do is do a uh, selection of the complete song. Do that under Edit. Select all. Also notice that you can hit Control A and then grab this guy here, bring him over, and you probably want to do about a one second fade out on the end. I'm going to select all with Control A, and we're going to see about the uh, the output level. Right now it says that you can amplify at 1.3 dB given that you don't want any clipping. So you hit OK. One thing I found out to experience is you can actually go a little higher than that. So now go to Effect, Amplify, Allow Clipping, and let's say select 1. Hit OK. We now have our sound file ready to go. So now you want to take the sound file, export it. I'm going to write over the uh, 
Oh, let's say we don't want to write over the original or the uh, mono version. Hit save. Here you can set up uh, ID3 tags if you wish. And that is how you edit a sound file for the Yorbell.